Columbia and the satellite now 77 nautical miles apart. Again, that call reporting that uh, the crew can see the tether and uh, see the satellite. To, that it's beautiful. This view uh, showing uh, the satellite. Again, uh, just moving into sunrise. 81 nautical miles now from Columbia. Franklin, uh, we see a long line, a couple of star-like things, and a lot of things swimming in the foreground. Can you describe what you're seeing? Well, the long line is, uh, is a tether, um, and uh, there's a little bit of debris that uh, kind of flies with us, and uh, it's uh, illuminated by the sun at such low angles. So this is just a lot of stray light and it's getting washed out uh, quickly, but uh, Claude is trying to do a, a quick, uh, good job here adjusting the cameras. Copy that. You know that description by the crew, this is uh, the tether in the satellite, uh, the satellite with 12, approximately 12 miles of tether still attached to it. Columbia and the satellite are now just passing over the west coast of uh, northern Africa. The two spacecraft are now 90 nautical miles apart. Controllers for the satellite uh, did have communications uh, with it uh, during the close pass uh, between Columbia and the satellite. Columbia Houston, that's a much better view, uh, a lot more contrast visible. And how wide uh, does that tether appear to be? We, we see, it seems to resemble a, a much wider strand than we'd expect. Can you describe which way the, uh, the satellite is visible on that uh, strand? Satellite uh, now 100 nautical miles. Charlie, completely unzoomed, and uh, you see the full extent of the tether. I try to adjust the focus, but I can't get better than that. Okay, Claude. Thank you. I'm going to zoom in now. Satellite uh, in Columbia now almost uh, 100 nautical miles apart. Controllers here uh, remain in communications with the satellite. Uh, they've been in communications with it now via uh, the payload interrogator on board Columbia, uh, using Columbia as a communications relay station uh, for a telemetry from the satellite. 
They've been in communications for about uh, 47 minutes, receiving a very solid uh, lock of communications with it. Those communications now are starting to get uh, some interference, however, uh, still retaining uh, communications to the satellite. Controllers did uh, send commands uh, to the satellite to, to attempt to gain some science information using the experiments on the satellite and uh, experiments uh, simultaneously in Columbia's cargo bay, essentially uh, using the satellite's instruments to attempt to detect uh, electron beam emissions uh, done by instruments in Columbia's cargo bay. Again, uh, the two passed uh, within 46 nautical miles of one another. The crew uh, first saw the satellite when it was 150 nautical miles distant. Uh, that uh, during uh, the past sunrise. During this sunrise, uh, this view shows the satellite again uh, here in the center of the screen with uh, 12 nautical miles of tether connected to it. At present, uh, the two now are 108 nautical miles apart. Columbia now ahead of the satellite. Continue to separate from it at a rate of 335 nautical miles per orbit. You, uh, it's remarkably straight. Thank you, Claude. Range Claude, we see it now. 